Good evening, my name is Dan Santat. I'm going to be reading from my graphic novel memoir, A First Time for Everything. Uh, just some back context. Uh, it was, takes place in 1989, I was 13 years old, uh, and there was this terrible incident that happened to me uh, in eighth grade where I was forced to do a speech uh, spring morning uh, by A.A. A. Milne in front of the entire junior high school. And I think we can all understand how terrible junior high was, and we can probably guess how this transpired. Um, I did not do very well, and as a result, I, I suffered a lot of uh, emotional scars. Um, and I grew up in a very white, uh, conservative, small Christian town where I was one of a handful of Asian kids. And my, my mother thought it would be a wonderful experience for me to maybe spend the summer on a three-week trip to Europe with that teacher who was the one that made me go in front of all those kids in that gymnasium. Uh, her name was Marilyn Bjork. <laughs> so, here is a scene where we are in London and she is going to make amends. Last day of the trip, Earl's Court. I can't believe it's the last day already. Yeah, the time fly flew by so fast. What do you want to do today? Whatever. Mr. Santat, I was wondering if you would like to come walk with me. I want to show you something, not far. I promise, it's something you want to see. Sure. And so, 10 minutes later, we walked to this place. I thought about what you said to me in Vienna and how that speech in front of all the kids really affected you. I wanted to make it right. And she takes me to the home of A.A. A. Milne. He was one of my favorite writers. He wrote Spring Morning. I never would have guessed a famous author lived down some random street so close to our hotel in Chelsea. Do you want to hear one of my favorite lines of his? Sure. How lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard? That's beautiful. It's from Winnie the Pooh. He actually hated the fact that he was best known for it. He wanted to be taken more seriously as an adult writer. Spring Morning was one of his adult works. The poem is about the unexpectedness of the world and facing it unafraid. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to be at peace with yourself. Before high school starts, I want you to forget everything that happened in junior high. Start fresh and don't be afraid of the unexpected. You know what the best part of being a teenager is? What? You only have to do it once. Thank you.